Hey everybody, how's it going? Dale here. Today I'm going to make a quick video showing you some cool features in Microsoft Edge. Uh, three specific features that you may or may not know about. I'm going to open up my Microsoft Edge here. Um, now we probably all, you all know about this here, the snip and sketch or the snipping tool. You can grab, snip out whatever you want, save it as a JPEG. Um, you can also do with it a full screen capture if you want and you can draw you can do a free form that type of thing pretty convenient I use it often um, but it's limited to what you're seeing on your visible screen now in Microsoft Edge if you just take your mouse and right click somewhere on the web page that you're viewing you can see this one is quite lengthy if you right click there's a feature down here called web capture if we click that we can capture the full page and, and you can capture a specific area with this as, as well um, if you're going to do that you might as well use the snip and sketch but if we hit capture full page there we go we just captured the entire web page pretty handy um, now we can go up here and I can hit save and basically it's just going to if I just open the file it's going to go into your downloads folder if you click open file you can open it up here in the, the, the photos app now you got all your editing tools, all the different things you can do with it. You can view actual size. You can see it's the entire, entire web page. You can do all the editing you want with it. There's kind of no limit. It's just basically an image. So I thought that was pretty cool. And of course you can annotate on it too if you want to pick out a certain area, that kind of thing. Um, a, lot, a lot of cool features you can do with it. So that's called web capture. Let me click out of this. Now back to the space.com website. Now let's say you want to read an article. We can choose this article right here about the asteroid. Now you want to read the article, but you can see, like most websites, you got all these things popping up, you got ads, you got all these distractions in here. So that's kind of annoying. If we go up here to the top, you got this feature called Immersive Reader. You may or may not know about it. You can hit F9 as well to enter it. So if I choose that, I'll click it. Now we got just the article. If you want to just read the article without all the distractions and all the ads and everything, boom, there you go. <clears throat> now the third feature is something called read aloud. Now of course you got text preferences here. You can choose like if I want to go black background with white text, you got gray, you got different fonts, you got column styles. This is I believe the default. A uh, couple of different font styles. Um, and text size, you can see you can make it small or quite large if you want. Medium, I think, is default. <clears throat> but if you want to, if you have a disability, whatever that may be, you can choose this option right here. It says read aloud. Now, if I click that, uh, it's simply going to start reading the article. Of and you even have voice comment. options over here. You got all these different Ryuku. accents. You can have it read in. You got male and female voices. You can choose. Oops, get back up here. Here's Mark. 2018. That one. Image credit. Quite a few JAXA. reading options University here. Of Tokyo. You got different speeds. Kochi you University. Ricky University. Normal. You Nagoya have University. Even Chiba Institute like. of Technology. So, Miji. There. I showed you three cool features for Microsoft Edge. I use it quite a bit. I still use Chrome mostly as my main web browser. But uh, you might want to check it out. These, these features are kind of handy. Um, so I hope those little tips were helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.